Heritage Auctions has the Ruth Hill collection of international banknotes. Ms. Hill was involved with the International Banknote Society as well as other collector groups and assembled a fantastic collection of world paper money. It's the Ruth W. Hill collection. Um, she was an integral part of uh, establishing some of the collector clubs that we're, uh, uh, that we're familiar with, um, was uh, very courteous to the SPMC and uh, the IBNS, uh, helping get them started, helping run the organizations, um, and uh, helping out with contributions even when they were in trouble. Um, she was uh, a philanthropist of types uh, and contributed to currency in ways that uh, very few people have the chance to do over the course of a lifetime. What are a few of the highlights from the sale? The, the highlights are numerous. There's more than 10,000 notes, which are going to be spread out between our Central States Numismatic Society auction uh, in Chicago in April. And then we're going to follow that up with internet offerings every Tuesday night with our internet currency auctions. And those will go through September Long Beach, uh, where we're going to be the official auctioneer and we're going to bookend the sale with another great offering uh, similar to what we have in Central States. So, uh, in, in included just in the first portion, uh, we have an incredibly rare uh, note, 500 reals from Cutter. Um, I know when Ruth bought this, uh, it was probably right after it was issued, and she had no idea what kind of a, uh, a great rarity that she had stumbled into. Um, she was just looking to represent the type when she had bought it. Uh, today, uh, we have it estimated somewhere north of $5,000, and it could well bring more than that. We also have uh, a note from what's now modern-day Tunisia. Uh, it's a 10 rupees note from 1928 from Zanzibar. Uh, notes from Zanzibar show up on the market maybe, if we're lucky, every three to four years. Uh, so this is an incredible rarity, despite it being in uh, uh, very fine condition. Uh, they're very rarely seen, um, and when they do come up, they're very hotly contested. Uh, and then we also have uh, a note from Kuang Tung, and it's a $10 note. Uh, interestingly, this is one of the first notes that was ever denominated in dollars. Uh, its proximity to Hong Kong was kind of the result of that. Hong Kong did a lot of trade with the West, so they started denominating their currency in dollars. Uh, they also had trade dollars uh, that were denominated in Western denominations to help facilitate trade, and this province was doing the same thing. Uh, they were trying to take advantage of all the trade that was coming into Hong Kong. The note's incredibly rare uh, and is actually the cover on our catalog. Who's buying most of the Chinese notes? Are they going back to China or to collectors in other parts of the world? It, they go everywhere. China is right now a very big vacuum for a lot of this material. Um, as a result, the prices are uh, climbing steadily. Uh, we've seen that uh, collectors stateside are having to compete with people that are trying to repatriate the things that are important to them. Uh, collecting in the United States was very important uh, in the early 1900s, so a lot of the good material moved this way, and now they're trying to get a lot of that back because so much of it here is stateside. Ruth Hill did an incredible job picking very nice Asian rarities, uh, and you're going to see another big selection with a lot of wide-ranging rarities that are going to be coming up in the September Long Beach auction.